Hello. I'm so happy to celebrate International Women's Month of March with this message. I'm totally in agreement with the UN women who considers that education is one of the greatest game changers for women and girls around the world. It's both an enabler and force multiplier for women's economic, political, and social empowerment and gender equity. So Women's Month gives us also a chance to reflect on progress made, calls for change, and celebrate the acts of courage and determination by ordinary women who have played an extraordinary role in the history of their countries and communities. So this year's theme being Women in Leadership, Achieving an Equal Future in a COVID-19 World. I think this is a good time to stop and thank women who have been at the front lines of the COVID-19 crisis as healthcare workers, caregivers, innovators, community organizers, and are some of the most exemplary and effective national leaders in combating the, uh, the pandemic. They continue to stand still in the communities and give us hope during these gloomy times. I also want to thank those folks of all ages and all walks of life who are stepping up as well. Over the past years, more people and government of the world are joining hands to support projects that advocate for gender equality, uh, domestic balance, equal pay, unemployment, poverty, technology, and so forth. So this morning, even I just got out of a Zoom meeting celebrating Women's Month with great women leaders. It was exhilarating to hear their work and contributions. And so is our Miss Dot Africa Digital Women in Tech program, also now called FemPower, is one I initiated over decades ago. And the program has supported thousands of women and girls in realizing their dreams in the technology world, creating employment opportunities and equipping youth and skills to help them fit in the job market. Women have been trained to think that we are overreacting or that we are too sensitive or unreasonable. We try to make sense of nonsense and we swallow the furious feelings and we try to put them into some hidden place in our minds, but they don't go away. So I urge fellow women to choose to challenge themselves to bring the change that they're looking for. The change could be in the light that we lit at our communities or gender equality and some for some, it could be a spotlight, it could be a flickering uh, candle in the dark room, or maybe the big bright sun. Let it bathe you. Please subscribe to our monthly FemPower newsletter. We bring to light and celebrate women who are doing splendid work in our communities. Happy International Women's Month for all. This is my slant for this month on conversations that matter. Keep safe. Thank you.